Hello. Man, it's bright. I picked a really bright, sunny spot. I kind of want to put my glasses on, sunglasses on. I'll do this post like this. <laughs> um, hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Doing this post for my car because I've got a house full of kids. Um, but wanted to say hey and drop a, another juicy tidbit for you on how to write a book in 30 days. And like, I just want you to keep in mind that I, it's not that I think everybody's writing a book in 30 days or even wants to write a book in 30 days, but maybe you started a book and you really want to finish it. I believe these tips will help you. Um, maybe you want to kickstart your book journey. Um, these are all going to help you in that case as well. Or maybe you're just stuck and this is uh, going to give you the jump start that, hello, um, uh, that you need. So wherever you are in your journey, just know that I'm here for you and uh, that's why I'm showing up today. So something I'm doing writing this book that I have never done before is leaving breadcrumbs. I'm leaving breadcrumbs. Normally when I write, I complete a scene or a chapter and I wrap it up nice and neat with a bow um, and I feel really good about it. It's very satisfying. Uh, but what I'm doing this time is I'm actually teeing up my next scene, my next chapter before I sign off for the day. And that's doing a bunch of different things for me. So one, um, it is making it easy to enter the writing the next day because I know I've already figured out where I'm going to go. Um, and yeah, just it kind of removes some of that resistance, that initial resistance of like getting in front of the computer and writing for the day. So knowing I've already figured it out, I just need to step back into where I was and the flow that I was in the day before really, really helps me with keeping momentum, which is a really big part of this. Um, the other thing it does is it helps me reconnect to my storyline so that I don't go too far off on di different tangents, which I really, really like to do, uh, chase these little muse trails in different directions. And when I check back in with my story um, at the end of my, my writing session to tee up tomorrow's writing, uh, it helps me reconnect with the overall arc uh, uh, the overall hero's journey and all the different beats that I really, really want to hit. So, um, so I really am staying on track with this, with this first draft. So it's doing those two things for me. And, um, you know, I'm going to talk about the, this other thing tomorrow. <laughs> so <laughs> I going to stay on point today. So I just want to keep you, uh, you know, leave that with you to something to think about. I know other writers do it. I have avoided it up to now because it's so satisfying to, to leave everything nice and neat and feel complete and actually leaving some things, uh, unfinished creates an opening that's going to make it so much easier for you to approach your writing the next day. So, um, I hope that serves you. Keep that in mind when you're writing for the day, when you're wrapping up your hour, your 500 words, your thousand words, thinking about, uh, teeing up what you're going to write about tomorrow and reconnecting to your storyline, um, and making sure that you haven't strayed too far and that where you're going tomorrow, what you're teeing up is um, a really essential piece of the overall story. So I hope that helps. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.